What is going on YouTube? So it is that time of year again. You know when the summer parties come to a screeching halt and that morning commute to work becomes a lot more hectic. And you know why? Because school is back in session. So whether you are sending your kiddos off to elementary school or to high school, or you yourself, you're going to college or to grad school, it is not an excuse to abandon your healthy eating goals. Now about two years ago, I shared a recipe video here on YouTube with four recipes that you can make in your college dorm room using just the microwave. I got tons of amazing feedback on that video, but I surprisingly got a lot of feedback from people who are active in the military because oftentimes that's all they have access to is just a microwave. So I realized that this concept is much bigger than college. So because of all that amazing feedback, we are doing that series again. This is Dorm Room Master Chef Part 2. Instead of four recipes, we are cranking it up to seven recipes. Now, with that in mind, I also gotta say, I got a lot of uh, emails and messages from, I'm not gonna call them haters, but some of my more concerned followers saying, how dare I advocate for using the microwave? Uh, it causes all kinds of health problems. It causes Zika. <laughs> okay, they didn't say Zika, but it was something dramatic like that. So what I would say to all of my concerned followers out there is, Again, if you have access to a stove or an oven, then just use that. This video may not be for you, but keep in mind guys that um, videos like this can really help to expand your ideas and give you, expand your mind and give you more ideas so that you can enrich your own healthy eating journeys. This video was made with a lot of love and also a lot of thought and I kept every recipe hella simple with just a few quick steps and all the ingredients you can find from your local grocery store. Now I personally went to Kroger to go pick up the stuff for this video and that is a nationwide brand so I know that these things should should be easy to find. So if you are ready to get your hands dirty guys, then let's get started. First up, we got a microwave baked berry oatmeal. Now this is just pure goodness in a mug. Start out with a tall coffee mug and spray it with coconut oil. Add in some oatmeal, milk flaxseed, some cinnamon, almond milk, crack open an egg, then lastly add in raw honey or stevia in the raw. Mix it up then toss in fresh or frozen blueberries, then gently mix it together. Place the mug in the microwave for three minutes, but check it after two minutes of cooking to ensure it doesn't bubble over and make a mess. Careful when handling because it'll be pretty hot. Enjoy the oatmeal by itself or with milk, Greek yogurt, or almond butter. Microwave stuffed bell peppers. I think this may be the most popular dish in healthy eating. Season lean ground beef or turkey with garlic, smoked paprika, cumin, sea salt and pepper, a little red onion, and parsley. Mix it up. Slice the bell pepper in half and carve out the inside. Then place the halves in small microwave safe bowls and add a few tablespoons of water to the bowls. Next, stuff the bell pepper halves and microwave for three and a half minutes. After that, if desired, Add a little reduced fat cheddar or mozzarella on top and microwave again for another minute. If you want to avoid cheese altogether, try adding a little chunky marinara on top. Microwave white mac and cheese. So you didn't pass that test or things aren't going right with your boo thing, what do you reach for? Some comfort food. Well, here's a way to do it in a much more calorie conscious way. Add about two cups of water to uncooked macaroni, toss in a few teaspoons of sea salt, then place the macaroni in the microwave with the plate on top for about five minutes. Stir it up and cook for another three minutes, and afterwards check to make sure the macaroni is fully cooked. Then, let's take out some of the macaroni water, leaving just about one eighth cup in the bowl with the macaroni. Add some Greek yogurt and goat cheese crumble. Stir it up and sprinkle in onion powder, garlic, and pepper. Garnish with green onions and enjoy. Microwave single serving walnut brownie. Now I deliberately made this a single serving so that way you don't get carried away and make an entire batch and end up stuffing your face. Add cacao powder, wheat or oat flour, Greek yogurt, coconut sugar, and a little water. Mix it up. Then add crushed walnuts and optional dark chocolate chips for that extra chocolate goodness. If you find the batter is too thick like this, no worries. Just add a few tablespoons of water until it loosens up. Spray a small microwave safe bowl with coconut oil and pour in the batter. 
And just for kicks, add a few walnuts and chocolate chips on top. Place it in the microwave for two and a half to three minutes, then allow the brine to cool for a minute or two before enjoying. Kick the flavors up a notch by adding a few pinches of sea salt. Microwave Turkey BLT. Yeah, that's pretty much all that needs to be said about this recipe. Season ground turkey with Italian or herb seasoning, garlic, smoked paprika, green onion, and sea salt and pepper. Mix it up, then form a patty. Next, slice the bacon in half, then let's create a mini bacon grid for our burger. Cook the bacon in the microwave for two and a half to three minutes, and be careful not to let it burn. Allow the bacon to then cool and harden. Place the patty in the microwave and cook for three minutes. After that, place a slice of cheddar on top and cook for an additional 30 to 45 seconds. Dijon, lettuce, tomato, the patty, and the bacon grid. For a lower carb solution, use portobello mushroom caps instead of whole wheat buns. Microwave fried rice. So last week on Facebook and Instagram, I posted a teaser to this video asking you all to send me one more recipe idea to add to this series. Now, a whole bunch of y'all came back with Asian cuisine ideas and at first I was kind of surprised, but then I began to think about my own college and grad school experience and Asian food, Chinese food specifically, in the middle of the night when you're up late studying, always hit the spot. So, yeah, we're gonna make some fried rice. And I want to give a huge shout out to Latina for the idea for this recipe. I'm going to be sending you my spices, so check your inbox because I'm going to slide in that DM so I can get your address. Check it out, guys. First, cook some instant brown rice in the microwave. Crack some eggs in a bowl, then add garlic, low sodium soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. Beat it all together, and if you can swing it, add a little ginger paste as well. Pour the cooked rice in a large glass bowl, then top it with frozen peas and carrots and a few tablespoons of chopped red onion. Place the bowl in the microwave with a paper plate on top and cook for about one minute. Then pour in the egg mixture, stir it up, then cook it again for about two minutes. Let it cool slightly, then stir it up and enjoy. And lastly, we got microwave chicken skewers with the easy peanut sauce. Mix together powdered peanut butter with a few tablespoons of water. Then add a little low sodium soy sauce, raw honey, and sriracha. Mix it up and set the sauce aside. Season chicken breast tenders with cumin, sea salt, and pepper. Carefully skewer each tender with a wooden stick, then place the kebab over a microwave safe bowl. Spray the chicken with olive oil, then cook in the microwave for two and a half minutes. After that, check on the chicken to ensure it is not burning, then cook it for another two and a half to three minutes. Finally, check on it one last time to make sure the chicken is completely cooked, then spice it up with some red pepper flakes. Thank you all for sticking around to watch the video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did making the video. Again, this video was made with a lot of love and a lot of thought, so if you really enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you going World Star Hip Hop on that like button below and also sharing it out with some of your friends who are in college or who are in active duty in the military. There are tons of ideas out there for microwave recipes, so I invite you to share your favorite one below in the comment section. I don't get to reply to all of them, but I do read every single comment. Until next time, keep it healthy, but never ever boring. Ooh, and hook them.